Hello, everybody. I'm Marion C. Finley, and this is Audacity of Hosts Revealed. The audience and I just finished watching two episodes of Motown Maurice's new docuseries. Did you guys enjoy those docuseries? Yeah. If you will, help me bring to the stage Mr. Jovan Conde. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Listen, you. the episodes, your, your, your take on them, how were they? Man, um, I think I had expectations, and all of those expectations were met and exceeded. It's pretty incredible watching all of the old, old footage that I didn't even realize existed. It was pretty funny to see some of the things that we did back in the day. Like, like dancing. See, Man, I still got moves, okay. so you know. <laughs> I still got them. Awesome. Right here, we want to do a shout out to Mr. Brian. Sandman Sanders, the illustrations. What do you think about the illustrations? That was so cool. I was talking to Motown about uh, the project, and he told me he's going to try to surprise me with some things. That right there really uh, uh, encompassed uh, where the big surprise was. Uh, those illustrations, yeah, I was working at a store, and he put it into illustration wow. in a way that I couldn't have even imagined. Awesome, awesome. Now, just watching the episode and how impactful you were on Motown, even getting him into what he's doing now. Can you just, just reflect back a little bit, seeing yourself on camera back then? Okay. I always went to school just to go and just be the best me that I could be. And um, like having Motown make it seem like I affected him that way was pretty cool. Uh, I didn't know. I just wanted to go to school and have fun and help people out whenever I could, but uh, it really was emotional for me because, I mean, I became a teacher. I did that for a while, and uh, yeah, I never thought about it like, oh man, I could really help. I, I've been doing this for a really long time, just helping people out, trying to uh, look out for them, and I never thought of it like, oh, I'm going to be a teacher. I was just like, I'm going to help out my boy because like, I knew Motown, good dude. Let's go do this work, and, um, and, and it worked out. Now, what I really enjoy seeing that picture of your students. I love how that was included. Um, yeah. You know, started out doing one thing and the Lord led you on that path and um, impacting people along the way. So that's amazing. Yeah. All right. So back then, 20 years ago, broadcasting students, um, you guys had it rough. You had to take <laughs> equipment, heavy equipment from here, the VHSs, you know, when we first started out, send that. Do you think that the broadcast students back then had it? harder or I mean the more modern students you know they have it more easy which one is it? okay I would like to say that although we had heavier equipment um, probably had a lot more things to carry things have gotten so that uh, they're so used to having so much right at their fingertips I won't say it's easier though because they have so much more that they can do within the amount of time that we were asked to do things in a week. They were getting asked to do it in a day. So I don't want to say that it's easier for them. It might be easier to get to the final product, but they're asked to do a little bit more. I know I expect more from the students because I'm like, you're young and you have this thing right at your fingertip. I used to have to walk up a mountain for a mile, <laughs> both directions in the snow. Like That's the type of thing that we would make them feel like, but the, I won't say that it's easier now. I do think that we did have heavier uh, uh, equipment to lift and uh, probably the process took a little bit longer, but I won't, I won't say it's easier now. Okay. okay, all right, thank you for that. Um, while interning in college, you had opportunities. Mm -hmm. You could have worked in LA, but you turned it down. Any regrets? Oh, no, I, I live, I've had a great life. I tell people this, anybody who's from the industry that I still talk to, I actually just had this conversation with one of my guys that uh, I've known for 20 years from the first time I went to LA. I was speaking with him um, about a week ago and um, he mentioned like, hey, do you think like you, know, you would have wanted to stay in LA? And no, uh, as much as, as I enjoyed that time, um, everything I think you alluded to it earlier, led me to where I am today. Um, I have a beautiful family. I've got a, a wife, beautiful kids, and um, I would never change any of that because everything that brought me to that moment to be where I am today is making me who I am. And, and it's 
a beautiful I, I have no regrets i love my life i could always talk about the good things that i've had i've had bad things happen but you know that's what makes you a well-rounded individual um this life that we live you you know people say yolo a lot right they they used, they used to say it, but, but like but you only live once and every opportunity you have to take it move forward and just keep looking forward don't look back like oh i could do could have done just keep moving forward and thinking about all of those things that you can do keep that mindset of growth keep looking towards the future don't look back <laughs> let's keep moving i hear that yeah. now so while we're in this vein what would you say to your 20 year old self with what you know now with what you've been through all of the struggles um a broadcasting student what would you say to them from what you know now what would you say back to your 20 year old self or even to a student a broadcasting student now uh, to a different student if it, i would to my 20 year old self I think he did what he was supposed to do because um, I made sure to take opportunities and make opportunities, um, drove coast to coast. I drove from Tallahassee, Florida to LA a couple of times. I going to Chicago as a sophomore in college um, and going on that internship, the first day I landed, there was a blizzard. And I was thinking, man, I haven't been in snow for many many years and it was four feet of snow up to my waist and I'm thinking what am I going to do this whole winter when I got to go through snow all the time other than let me just figure it out and um, I think that those 20 year olds um, I think maybe now a 20 year old doesn't uh, figure it out as they don't look at the struggle and say let me figure it out they say let me look at the struggle let me get up out of here I could go to something else there's so many other directions they can go um, I would suggest that any young person have a little struggle, have a little and, and fight through it, make it through that struggle, make the puzzle work. Don't, don't say, oh, I can just go this other direction. That's easier because sometimes that easy path is not your best path. That's good. You know? That's good. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for just being here and just offering up this insight about Motown and also about yourself. Thank you so very much. Thank you. For more information on Audacity of Hosts, visit MotownMaurice.com. <laughs> <laughs>